Hi everyone, Sandra from Scrap to Booty. How are you guys? Uh, just pop out my chat here. Hi Ash. <laughs> Taking a break. I heard you've been like streaming like crazy. <laughs> uh, so I have some show and tell first before we get started. Who else is here? Anybody? Wing. <laughs> There you are. Hi, Sherry. <laughs> Hi, Willie. I got my stuff here. I can show you. Oh, no. Is Bunny here? Oh, good Bunny's here. <laughs> got to keep me in line tonight. Hi, AJ. Hi, Aunt Maggie. <laughs> Everyone coming in? Remember last week I showed, I think it was last week I showed some of this. So Jonna showed it too. So I would got some more fabric with these little girls. And so let me show you these first. So I'm going to do the same thing um, for the retreat that I'm going to in Maryland. I found these cute little um, composition books. They're actually sewn and everything. You can see it's because of the light. Um... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, take paper clips and put them on here and then I'm going to take like each one of these little girls and then, hi, <laughs> yep, Laura Lee, yep, that's who they are. Um, and this is her, um, her bee collection, I think it is. Look how cute with the little dress with all the bees. Isn't it cute? <laughs> so that's my plan. And so then if you saw me on Sunday when we were doing these, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew these and then I'll have a pocket in here. And so what I'm going to do is stick these in here for the girls along with my ATC card. So see how cute that looks like that. And then I'll put their name or something on the front. But aren't these cute? So I have paper clips. I'll show you a couple of them. These are really cute. <laughs> you see them there? Here's that one. This one. Uh oh, where's going on with my chat? Oh, there we go. Okay, hi Marilyn. Hi, Bunny. Oh, I lost it there for a minute, my chat. Aren't these cute? Here's this one. I should put a piece of paper so you can see them better. There's that one. Who's putting you to shame? <laughs> All of this one. Isn't that cute? So these are the honeybee ones. So those are the ones I'm going to be using. Hi, Char. Hi, Marilyn. Hi, Aileen. I love this one. This one's really cute. So what I did was I put them on Pelon, but it's like a thick, like a thick um, felt. And then I'm going to just um, tack the little um, paper clip in the back. And then I'll put the um, put them on the composition books. Don't they look cute? Look cute on there, don't they? <laughs> um, and then there's this one with the bathing suit. Oh, and this one with the kitty. Isn't they cute? <laughs> oh, for the Maryland stuff, you don't have to do anything. It's just gonna. It's just a little something. And then this is her sew. Um, her sewing. Um, girls. <laughs> You see that with the pin cushion for her dress? Isn't it cute? And then her hat. And then this one's holding like fabric. And I love this one with holding the zebra fabric. <laughs> Thank you. And then uh, let's see what else. This one here with the artist. Hi, Jim Marie. The palin dies great. Oh, does it really? Yeah. So. So I got that. So that was the sewing line. And then, oh, let me put this over here. I bought this French. Oh, I love this. You know, I love the pink and black. And then this is her, par her Paris line. Look how cute. Let me pull this up so you can see it better. <laughs> Look how cute. Oh, my gosh, they're so cute. Hi, Paige. So there's that one. Um... So these are the bigger ones, and this is, has sewing on it too. There's this girl, and then I love um, this one with the scissors. 
I think I'm going to put these on my apron. I'm going to cut them out because they're nice and big. And I'm going to put them um, on my apron for the retreat. See this one with the scissors? Isn't she cute? <laughs> so she has a lot of cute, a lot of, a lot of cute fabric. I love that one too. This one. The pin, pin cushions. <laughs> So that was the three pieces of fabric that I got, but um, let me put these back in here. But I thought they would be cute. Um, I'll pr probably put something like Be Happy or something like that on these little books. I have to go and get some more little books. I hope they have, I like the pattern, like they had this one, they had the cheetah kind, and then I guess like the giraffe. So they will look cute on these books, like that. Mm-hmm. You did some, oh, you did with the nurses? I know John was going crazy over the church ladies. She has a new one called the church ladies. <laughs> They're funny. I also like, she also has, um, for like scrapbooking paper, where it's like a PDF that you could download. And then she puts these faces on buttons. And so it's like three-dimensional. So it was really cool. I couldn't find the buttons on her site, but it was it was neat. The fabric is from here, from, um, her name is Lorraine Harris. If you just Google, um, Lorraine, can you see that there? Lorraine Harris from Lorraine Designs. Her cats and dogs are really cute, too. You have to see those. You have some of her embroidery designs, too? Wow. I had a hard time seeing on her site like what you when you download it. It's just for like your sewing machine. I really couldn't because I was trying to look for the paper one, but I couldn't find it. So that was that. And then I got some is Mitts here. I got some happy mail for Mitts. Mitts Mitts. So she sent me. Oops, there's another one. <laughs> Yes, Laura Lai, Laura Lee. That's her name. <laughs> um, so she sent me some more bleeding tissue. So we'll get some more chance to play with that. She sent me a lot. <laughs> oh my gosh. Sure so she sent me all of this bleeding tissue. So we'll be able to play some more. So I love this green. I'm not sure if I had that dark green. But she sent me all the different multicolors. So thank you, Mitch. I just got that today. And then she sent me some other goodies with it. So she sent me. So here's if you never saw it, the bleeding heart, bleeding heart, <laughs> bleeding art tissue. Hi, Susan. So she had done a card and then put this on there. Hey, cute. I just stuck that in there for little tags in there. And then she sent um, a whole bunch of these. And I guess they're like for Zentangling coloring. So she colored that one for me. I know that bleeding tissue. I'm going to have fun with that. I can't wait to do it again, really. <laughs> and then she sent me all these to color. Isn't that cute? It's all about friends. <laughs> Yeah, we'll have to figure out another project for that for that um, tissue. I like this one with the tea, <laughs> these teacups. <laughs> so thank you, Mitz, for that. And then she cut me some teacups too, out of different paper. I love this die. I love the zebra one. She cut this a little. Oh, it's coming apart. Well, that one's zebra. I don't know why it got stuck here. Ugh. I don't want to take it apart, but so you send me that one. Cute. And I all have the little tea bags. So. And then she sent me some book paper, which is really nice. So we might use some of that on our. I think I'm gonna pull some of the stem of it. She's already sprayed. So I think we're gonna use that on our canvas later tonight. And then she sent me um, a couple, she um, printed out these for me to color. So she colored one. She colored this one there with the leaves. Isn't that cute? And this one. So thank you, Mitch. That was a nice happy mail. I got that from her. 
what else do I have to show you? Oh my gosh, I was in Target um, the other day. And, you know, my niece is having a baby, and it's a pirate theme. So when I was in Target, I actually wound up getting um, this. I'm going to pass the fire with the mustache. <laughs> and then um, I didn't get these in Target, but look, this is pirate ducks. You see that? <laughs> yeah, thanks. It's great happy mail. Happy mail. But I can't talk tonight. The pirate. So these are all little ducky pirates. Aren't they cute? <laughs> oh my gosh. So I got her that, that. And then in the, um, Target, they had a like a, a onesie. And it's all black. I should brought it up to show you. And it's got little white pirate ships on it. Oh my gosh. It's adorable. <laughs> so she's all set for her pirate theme. Yeah, it's really cute, isn't it? And then what else? So I'm going to, I remember I made this canvas a while back. So what I decided to do was um, give this to her to, um, so then now she'll have the ship, she'll have a mermaid. And then tonight we're going to make the um, treasure chest and the octopus. So they cute. So she can put the picture here. And then I left room to put like a tag in the back there. So, so we'll do that. I know it was funny to find all that pirate stuff now, wasn't it? I was like shocked. So, and then I picked up another one of these at um, Hobby Lobby. I thought that would be good for, like, seaweed, if we do seaweed on the canvas. I love the way that these stamp with the paint. So, I get that. And I brought some um, starfish. So, anything else I can show you? Oh, I did finish the mini, so I thought I would show you that first before we get started. So, I actually wind up putting... Um, you see, I put a key, like a pirate's, I put the little anchor, then I put the key on there, and then I put a mermaid charm. So that's the dangle there, and then I put the pirate ribbon on there. And then I had some other seashells in the front, um, but I, they, it, I made the ship like lean forward, so I had to um, take them off and put like smaller seashells. Isn't that cute? I want some of this stuff. And then, uh, what else did I do? I finally found the treasure chest. So I put that there. I found the rub on. It was flat over, so I didn't see it on the floor because my floor is white in here. And it was white. And so when I was cleaning up back there, I finally found it. <laughs> so, so the album's all done now. So she has that. And this member flips over. She's got that to pick out. I cut a couple more mats to stick in here. So she put some pictures. So I counted. It holds over 70 photos in here. You love the chart? Thank you, Mermaid. <laughs> um, and then remember I put that there. I added these two little dots on there to hold the uh, flag. And then in each pocket I put the um, I put one of these with a little tab. So she's got big 5 by 7 photos there. The only thing is I think I am going to um, take this off and move this smile up because it's just too thick. See how thick it is between there? I don't like that. So I'm thinking I'm going to take this and redo it and move the smile up. But other than that, it's pretty well done. Then I put the, I finished this with the little pirate. And I just put the mats on this. I left it kind of just plain. And then here's the bear that we did at the end last week. And then I did the, put a little mustache on him. <laughs> so that came out cute. And then, whoops, oops, I have so much stuff here for my thing tonight. Um, then I did the duck, and I added the manatee on there, because, you know, the pirates always, you know, thought the mermaids, and they were, you know, manatees, so I had to die like that. And then this flips up, so she can add another picture in there. So I did that. The mermaid, I finally found the shells. <laughs> so, there's her shells. Now she's all done. <laughs> And I put the little pearl. I found the little crab. And then um, I stuck the, I was going to stick this whale on this page, but it just didn't, it didn't fit here. So I just stuck it, tucked it in there behind that. So, <laughs> thank you. I, I like a lot of details, so. But I finally found, it was so hard to find the little, I finally found the little bag and I got them. And then you remember this page sticks out, I mean comes out. So what I did was I finally added all the 
big mats on this. So that goes like that. And then I added that one. And then she has that. And then I added this part. I just have to sign it. And then it all fits in the pirate ship here. So it's ready to be shipped off. So I can just stick it in there like that. And you can still see it still has about an inch, maybe about half, three quarters of an inch. So as she fills it with um, pictures, it will still, you know, it won't be bulging out too bad. But I wish I could show you, hi Janet, so that, it, you know, you could see the whole thing. But that's how it looks like. Isn't it cute? Oh my gosh, I love the way it came out. I'm thinking about putting some sand. I might just put some sand right here to go with the sea glass on this side. But, yep, so it's all done, ready to go. <laughs> so I did that, that, the canvas, and then tonight, oh, I got this um, Tim's new Distress Sprayer. It's really nice. I like the way it sprays. So tonight what we're going to do is we're going to work on this canvas. And it's a big canvas. Not big, but it's long. Hi, Packer Die. Hi. So it's long. It's like, um, oh, I don't know, it's like 20 by... I don't know, eight, something like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to work on the treasure chest first. So I want to, where is my treasure chest? Where did it go? <laughs> Good to see you too. So we're going to put the treasure chest, let me have to watch my camera here, down here like this. We're going to do the paper um, octopus here. And add some seashells at the bottom here, and then add some metals, and we'll put the mat the mat up here for the picture. So, so that's what we're gonna do tonight. We're gonna work on our treasure chest, and I already um, embossed the uh, paper for the chest, and then I got my paper clay. Hi, Kartik. Um, any of you guys who um, go to Michael's, they're getting rid of this paper clay. I wound up getting this big slab for $1.99. So, hi Angel Pug. So, that's what we're going to do tonight. And so, all I have to do now is I have to color this. I thought I would have time to do it before. But, um... And then that making the octopus, he's pretty easy. I did it for the steampunk. Where's my brown? The brown... For the steampunk sweater, you remember when I did the octopus for my hat? Well, that's what we're going to do tonight. Uh, where is my ink? Hi, Sian. Thanks, guys, for joining me. Oh, my gosh, I have my beauty secrets on tonight, too, Bunny, so let me know. <laughs> where is my ink? Oh, here it is. So I want to just color this really quick. And I don't know if we might just cut like planks out of it. I think I'm just going to do one big treasure chest. And this is the Sizzix um, embossing folder. That's one that looks like this, the new one. Most of them you see go like this with the wood grain. This is the first one that actually goes horizontal. Where did you stop at? What is that? Tapu Tapulo? What is that? Never heard of it. <laughs> so funny you'll have to be patient with me tonight because you should see what I have on my floor. I have, I have like bags of just like metals and seashells because I couldn't decide what I wanted. So it's going to be one of those nights where I'll be like, I don't know what I want to put on here. <laughs> so this is just, um, you know, um, what do you call it? Craft paper. God, I can't. I can't talk tonight. <laughs> you 
No, I never heard of it. What is it? It's a clothes design. Is it like a craft store or clothing? What is it? Okay, that's good enough. Hi, Sherry. All right, so I have my my idea of what how I want to cut this. So I'm pretty much going to keep it this size because I, I don't want to go bigger than that because the canvas isn't that big. So I'm going to flip this over and I am going to just so I'm going to do the top out of one piece and then maybe I have room for the other one. Let's see. I'm going to cut this so that's the, that's our top and I'm going to do the bottom so the bottom, I need to cut this, really is just this, so maybe I only need one piece. What is it? Hi Jean! <laughs> what is that? Stencils cut how to run it? Oh, I'm talking on the silhouette. I forgot to. Tonight is the last day of 40 off on their site. Um, I think tonight's the last night for the 40% off. If you want to get any downloads. How am I doing this? Hi, Pam. <laughs> okay, so here's our treasure chest. I have to just fix this just a little bit. And I want it um, spilling open because we're going to put jewels and stuff like that out of it. So let's just fix this a little. Now somehow that doesn't look like my original piece. Yeah, it is. All right, I'm just going to... Straighten this out just a little bit like that. Okay, I need a pen, so I'm just going to go around this with this stabilo here because I can use my water pen then to darken the edges. I need a water pen. What are you using stencils for? Who's using stencils? So I'm just going to come in here, darken this up. I'm going to put a little handle there, and then I just want to come in here. We're going to stick this in the sand too, so. That's how it's, it's going to open up like that. And we're going to spill out our jewels and stuff from there. Hi, Miki. Hi, everyone coming in. Anybody I missed? So now let's do this one. And I want to put straps in here. And I think I'm going to make the straps. So 
let's do this. Down. Like that. So looks, that looks pretty good. guys know Lisa? I first met Lisa when uh, we used to have the Swirly Dews um, month kit. And now she's she's all over. She, she, lo she loves doing the flowers. Oh my gosh, her flowers are so nice. <laughs> Alright, so we have our treasure chest. So... Let me clear up some of this so we can put it on our canvas. <laughs> Hi, Lisa. <laughs> I guess I just saw her on Prima Tuesday. And we were talk, chatting a bit. <laughs> All right, so there's our treasure chest. And what we're going to do now is I really need, um, I really needed to clear this out of here. Let me just, let me just move some of my stuff. Let me get this out of the way. <laughs> yeah, Lisa's all over the place. You've seen Lisa. I think she, she, where do you, who do you design for now, Lisa? Is it um, Bow Bunny or and Prima? I don't know. She's She designs for everybody. She's so good. All right, so we have that out of the way. Move this here. And I put the Tim Holtz um, tissue paper on here, and I just did it with some light gesso because um, we're going to go back over it. So let's see if I have enough room now. And I have to move this. Over there. Bo Bunny, Lindy's, and D yeah, Dusty Attic. Yep. Oh my gosh, she makes the best flowers. Or if you've been to her blog, you've got to go and see her blog. I'm sure you guys have. All right, so here's our canvas, and we're working towards the bottom here. So this is where the treasure chest is going to, to be in here, like this. And then we're going to put our paper octopus on here like that. So let's work on that because I want that to dry. So now when you get this, you can take a big chunk out. Let me take the piece out first. So this is about the head, and then we need the arms. So I'm going to stick that in there. If we need more, we will. And then what I do is I put it in a Ziploc bag, and I wet a paper towel, and I keep the paper towel in there. Where's my paper towels? I don't see my paper towels. Oh, there they are. Right. You love the background? Yeah, that's Tim's new tissue paper. The I think it's called Telegraph. I think it's Telegraph. So, um, where's my bottle now? So I'm just going to wet some of this paper. Oh, and this has like a lock on this side, which is nice because if you put spray in here, you know, colored spray, you don't have to worry. So you have to flip this button here to the other side, and then it sprays. And it's a nice, fine mist spray. It's really, really nice. So I keep the wet paper towel in here with the um, paper clay, and that'll keep it moist for a while. You need it, right? Oh, my gosh, yeah. It's so nice. It's really nice. All right, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just knead this a little bit. And I'm going to pull a piece off for the head. So now we don't want to make the octopus too big. So I'm just going to make it kind of like an oval, kind of, you know, like 
took a picture of too of an octopus so so I want to put him I want to put his head just about here like this so I'm gonna put it on here just so we can figure out what we're gonna do and then I'm gonna use um, a paintbrush and I'm just give him two eyes I know he probably doesn't have eyes but I'm putting eyes on him <laughs> so I just want to make some big holes like that so some big holes like this and then I'm gonna make two little balls to go in his eyes so let's see these are big enough yep so that one will go in there like that and that one will go in there like that so see how it just fits right in there like that and then I need let's see, I need one of these. I'm gonna give him some like frown lines you know how the the octopus is and I'm going to just shape them a little bit and then what we need to do is we have to make his legs and he has, he has to have like a neck kind of like a neck now his head comes in So I just want to shape it and then like tuck in here. So it's going to be holding on to this treasure chest. It looks like a little bit like an alien. <laughs> he will, but not until after we get his legs. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this like um, a tube and I'm going to cut it into eight pieces. That way we'll have... <laughs> That way we'll have his legs all even. So about it's about a half inch thick. And then I'm going to cut it in eight pieces. doesn't have to be exact but you know so that's we want to cut this four and if I had to add more I will but we'll see how this works first and then I'm going to take this <laughs> and I'm going to admit I'm just going to roll it out because we want to make his his legs So I want them all basically about the same. And then we have to put the little um the little what do you call it? Te te tentacles on there. And then I have to decide what color I want to color them because, you know, really they camouflage themselves with whatever they're holding. So I really don't want to make them brown. I really like to make them like a coral color. Okay, that's four. It comes together pretty easy, really. And once you have like the cigars, then we have to kind of like flatten it out so that we can put the little tentacles on there. So right now they're just kind of rolled. This one just a little. A little big. That one's a little short. Let's stick that one on there. A 
Okay, we have that. One more. <laughs> coral? Pinkish would be good, right? Like a coral color, I think, yeah. That's going to make them, yeah. So I'm thinking about putting some seaweed up here, and then we can put the seashells down in here. I wish I had a diver's mask. I would like to put that down there. <laughs> Coral's one of your favorite colors? A lot of people like coral, which I'm surprised. Okay, I'm going to close this just a little bit. So now that I have them rolled up, what I want to do is I want to flatten them down. It's on here. So what you want to do is flatten them down like this. So see how it's flat now? It's not round. So we want to do that with all of them. Flatten them down. Now this next part's the tedious part. But pretty much after that, then it's just putting the legs together and he's pretty much done. Stretch that one out just a little bit. I'll just flatten that out, and you need to flatten it so we can put those little tentacles on there. And I, I don't know if that's what they're called, but that's what I call them. Not the tentacles, but they're little like sucker things that he has. Notice holds on to flatten these two out. All right, so now we need another little piece. Get another piece out. See if that's enough. Mm, maybe. I'm gonna add some more water on my tissue here. Yeah, maybe I'll put a shark. Maybe a shark coming around there. We'll see. <laughs> Suction cups. Thank you, diver dog. Yep. <laughs> Suction cup. That's what we need. That's the next thing we need. So I'm just going to break off a piece of this, and then we want this thin, really thin. This one that might be enough, we'll see. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to I'll make sure it's even. So I really need a knife. Let me see if I have my other knife. I really would like a, um, what do you call it? Here we go. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut these into little, like, quarter inch pieces. And like I said, this is the tedious part. Should I come bring you down, guys, one more so you can see? I want to bring you down one more. Mm, there we go. Okay. I kind of have to work kind of fast because I have the air. It is air clay. I should have um, hooked up my baking so that we could have baked them closer. Okay, so that's to get it all even. You want to make sure, yep, 
suction cup. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Never worked with paper clay before. Oh, it's so nice. So then you're going to put these little dots. You're going to roll these up. Whoops. And I need my roll these up, stick it on there. And then you make the little hole. I'll, I'll bring it up closer so you can see. Let me do one whole leg and then I'll, um, I need a bigger hold. Hi, Renee. <laughs> it's really nice. It's um, like for me, I have arthritis in my hands. So the Sculpey clay, it's really hard for me to, you know, you have to like um, massage that a lot. Um, and so for me, it's just easier with the paper clay, you, you know, a couple of times and you're good to go. <laughs> oh no, Lisa, I can't say that. Oh my gosh, Joyce had a, a bot on her thing today as a moderator. Checking her out. Okay. So, can you see now how it looks just like, um, let's see, move it up there. See just how it looks like his legs? So then we can go ahead, once we have all of them, so what we're going to do is stick him like this, and then we're going to add these on him like that. Oops. Oh, I might have to wet this just a little bit. So we'll add them on and then we'll move them around. Taking a work break? Oh, that's having dinner. That's good. I'll turn in for a bit. <laughs> oh, thanks. We're making a paper clay octopus. It's going to be surrounding our surrounding our treasure map. I mean, our treasure chest. It'll be cute. And then we're going to twist them and turn them so that they're all over. So I'm just going to wet, wet this just a little bit so it has something to hold on to. See, it's, so it's really not bad. I mean, you can make these. You guys can make them. I'm sure you can. So it's just a matter of just poking your little hole in there. And a quick sandwich. So then we have another one. So I like to just put them on here like that, and then we'll we'll fix them all up once we get them all done. You're eating dairy, Dairy Queen salted caramel truffle. Yummy! I had some um, sherbet ice cream before you <laughs> before I came on. That was good. All right, so I'm just wetting this so I have contact with these little um, circles on here. Hi, Mitzi. <laughs> so then the now she'll have in her room, she'll have the pirate ship, she'll have a mermaid and octopus and the treasure. <laughs> so, so at least she has some pirate things. I'll stick this one here. Oops. I should have wet that one a little bit more.
There we go. <laughs> So, yeah, a couple more. We need to cut some more of this. There we go. So again, I'm just going to wet this. So we have so something to stick to. Mm, card chick. And then on the top, we're going to add all kinds of, I have medals. Um, I have like a crown and a sword. I was trying to look for my big sword. I have a big metal sword. Um, not big, but like a two-inch sword. I couldn't find it. So I have a tiny little sword we'll put on there. So my biggest thing after this is to decide whether we're going to go really dark with this, like Finnebar's canvases, or go a little bit lighter. So now I'm just going to wet that so I can rub it all in. What's that's nice about this paper clay? It just um, like meshes together so nice. Mm, he's cute, isn't he? Yeah, he's cute. <laughs> all right. It doesn't take long to make, really. I mean, I think it. I think they're pretty easy. Oop, got to You have to make sure you just wet it so that it has something to like the glue like I think they're pretty I think it's pretty easy <laughs> you live near wiki watchy and you see the mermaids at least once a year really well this canvas is for my niece who's having a baby and the theme is a pirate theme I already did a mini album with it. I'll have to show it to you later. So I need some more. And then we have to put the jewels in the chest. So I have some pearls and I have a, a crown and some jewels so we could stick that in there. Oh, she can't chat. She's on her PC. Happy Diane. Did you have a good birthday? It was your birthday last week, right? All right. There we go. All right. I'm going to stick that in there. Three more. Maybe we might only put six. I'll see how it goes. After we do this, we'll see how it goes. Wiki Watchy. That's where mermaids are in Florida. So let's we'll stick this in there. What is it? It's predecessor SeaWorld. Oh, Bush Gardens. Oh, really? So is it like do they have like 
mermaids like dressed up like mermaids? Cypress Gardens. Is it like a theme park? Hi, Darcy. <laughs> what is it exactly? Okay, now we have this one. Should we go with six? Let's see. Let's see how we're going to move him around a little bit. So I want him, I want his one arm to go up. Like this. Then I'll have to put him on some wax paper. And we want this other one. Maybe we'll have it coming like this. Intertwining. Oops. Let's stick that back on there. Take that one off. Stick that one back in. Want to smooth them out a little. I want to get one way up here like this. One like that. I think I'm going to have to put just a couple more in there. We'll get one up here. I think we have to add two more. <laughs> He's coming out good, isn't he? <laughs> All right, so we need two more because I want them to, we'll have to figure out what we're going to do with this other one. Because I want it to be able to put right on top of our treasure chest like that. Let me stick this on here because we're going to put some jewels so we want them to actually be up, up and over, up and down, like that. Make this a little bit more pointy, like that. They have eight legs. No, they have eight legs. <laughs> yes, we have to put two more. We have two, four, six, two more. We have two more here. <laughs> All right, so we'll just get some more water on here. Oh, <laughs> you can't get. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> See how fast he comes together? It's pretty fast. I like making octopuses. I do. Octopus, octopus eye. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love Harry Potter. You went down Diagon Alley? When I went to London, there was a street there that looked just like the um, the wand store. Oh my gosh, it had books just like that. They must have taken that wand store uh, wand store from that uh, place in England. Oh my gosh, I loved it. All right, so let's stick this one here. So I'm gonna cross his leg like that. So we need one more. Yeah, I'm a big Harry Potter. When we went to London, they had a um, like a tour. You you printed out this tour, and it took you to all the different places that were like like were inspired by Harry Potter. It was so nice. I have so many nice pictures from doing that. 
No, we don't need that much. All right, so I can put this other piece of clay back. You got your wand at Oh, Lanters, really? Oh my gosh, if you've seen the store that they had with the um books, it just had boxes and boxes. I know that they um they tapered that after that. I love I love any of that stuff that's kind of like magical and all that. <laughs> I love that. Fairies, Harry Potter, all that stuff I like. All right, so let's wet this one down. This will be our last one. Looks like he's waving. <laughs> we want him to be kind of friendly. <laughs> Poor kitty's going to be like nightmares with all these skeletons. <laughs> I haven't been, I was there like when they, I think they're either the first year they opened up, but supposedly they, they have the train running in now. I haven't been there since. Just too cute. Yeah, he's cute. When we get color on him, he'll look really cute. And we'll put some mica on there so that he looks kind of sparkly. He'll be cute. Just enough. There we go. I'll stick this last one here. Let me see, where am I going to stick in here? I'm going to stick this, take that one out. Stick it right in there. So there, he looks pretty good like that, right? I like him like that. So I just want to wet him down here so I can get this all smoothed out. So it doesn't look like they're put together. Your wand does magic in die. It does. <laughs> you love the train? Oh my gosh, I didn't get to do the train. I just want to dent him in just a little bit there. So I think he's looking pretty cute, right? So what I do is I want to get some wax paper so we can pull him off. Let's see my paper. Of course, I don't have my wax paper. I'll just stick him on here. So now what I want to do is try to keep him the way we have him, not move him too much. Let's see if I can get him like this. So in this way we can work on the rest of the canvas while we're doing that. Because once it's dried, then you can't really fool around with them too much. So I think he looks good like that. Just peel him off. So there he is. So now we have him. <laughs> Perfect. Thanks. Doesn't he look cute? Then we'll color him all up. He looks just good to go. <laughs> all right. So let's put him someplace to dry. So now we're going to work on our. Oh, I gotta wash my hands. I gotta wash my hands. Hold on. I need my my wipes. Where are they? Where are my wipes? Oh, I found them. Oh no, you lost picture and sound. Don't say that. <laughs> He's cute and it didn't take us too long. What? Uh, about, about 40 minutes maybe, right? Not long at all. All right. Dirty hands. Ugh. <laughs> Shocking. <laughs> right? 
you know I don't like dirty hands. Ugh. Oh my gosh, that thing that Barb um, gloves in a bottle, it worked so good. That ink came off so fast. I should have put that on tonight. <laughs> All right. So here is our, and what I want to do is I want to pop this up. So I need, I'm going to put some cardboard. So I'm going to glue some cardboard on here so we have it sticking out. And then we'll put our jewels and stuff in here. So stick that there. So that just pops out just a little bit like that. And then we could put all our little our little jewels like that on there. So I'm going to glue this part down right here like this. Oh, it's so cute, right? Oh my gosh, I, I can't wait to go see her room. Um, she's supposed to be going to my sister's um, in Atlanta, um, hopefully in August. So, welcome back, AJ. Oh, he's back. <laughs> Did you refresh? <laughs> All right, and so then we have this here. So we need to put straps on it. I want to put, I want to glue this down. And then we're going to put some more gesso because for me this is um, pretty busy. So I want to um, probably put a lot of, uh, I want to get some texture paste on here and then lighten some of these areas out. So, all right, so we have our treasure chest. So now we need the straps. So I want to see if I have, what do I have here? I have some of this. Remember when we did this with the glycerin? So I'm thinking I'm going to make straps out of this because it looks kind of like leather. We'll just spray it black or ink it black. So we'll put some straps here and then straps across the top like that. You will have to sit and clean your hands at the table in Baltimore. I will. <laughs> I'll be like, I better bring like three boxes of baby wipes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that, same thing with my, um, all right, so let's color these black. Um, same thing with my stencils. I told you my stencils I have to have them clean. Clean, clean, clean. All right, I need a piece of scrap paper. Oh, here, I use this. So I have to refresh. All right. So. They're not going to be, they'll be like, they'll be like, God, that Xandra, she's taking so long. We can't get ahead in class because she keeps saying, wait, wait, don't go. <laughs> Paul and Pat will be like, get over it. Just keep going. <laughs> no, your stencils are not clean. Oh, jeez. Mine are clean. The ones that I used, they're pretty clean, I have to say. Pretty clean. What I have to do is I have to bring, I have to bring, I don't know, I heard alcohol cleans them like really well. So maybe I have to bring some alcohol um, wipes or something so that I could clean them in a rush. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to cut that there. Let me see if there's that one there. And then this one here. So I have two straps. 
the, it's because I have, um, I crinkled this up to make it like look like worn leather. So that's why. Yeah. Darn commercials. Lisa, you got to get, um, what do you call it? Ad blocker. Yeah, it was embossed first. Mm-hmm. And when we spray over here, this is going to get even more, like, grunged up. So, you won't be seeing all of that. All right, now we have to get our ones on the top. I need to just cut these just a little bit more, a little thinner. So I want to bend this. Yeah, because when we did this, we were making like making worn like leathery books like when I did this. We have that. We need one more here. Put this one here like this. Just trim that. Great. Then we'll need like a little, what do you call it? Like a little um, handle, like, you know, like it has a handle. So this is what I used. This is Tim's new, I think it's new. His, um, I think it's Telegraph. This tissue postal, it's called Postal. That's the one I used. Uh, back to work you go. Okay, Renee, thanks for stopping by. <laughs> Bye. All right, so we have that down. I'm going to get this just down a little bit more. So now we want to put our jewels and we want to get um, some, I have some pearls. So let me get that out. So, and then, of course, we have to put a message in a bottle. So we have that. These are all my, these are the metals that we're going to use for up on the top. Can I put my pearls in here? No. Hold on, I got to look. Of course I can't get there. I have some of this we could use for sand. Seashells that we could put down there. Looking for my pearls. Hold on. Oh, thanks. The paper clay. I love. You haven't tried it. It's really fun. Like I said, you don't have to do a lot of kneading with it. Um, and it smooths so nice, like with the water and stuff. Oh, it's really nice. We have some crystals we could use. Just looking for my pearls. I have some of these. I have a whole bag. Just hold on a second. More metals. There they are. Okay, we have that. I can't find my little gold coins. I'm going to look for those. I don't know what bag I had those in. Love that one. Which one? Butterflies? 
This one's got the seahorse. It's got a crab. All right, we have our shelves. We want to put some jewels in here. I have some pearls. So let's kind of. I want to stick some pearls coming out of here. Hi, Denise. <laughs> like that. I have a crown. We need some. Let's see what do I have in here. I have a big key. Make some. Oh, I have these. We could put one of these on um, <laughs> on, the, on the top of the treasure chest. Use, use one of the vials you did on a beach thing with sand. Yeah. I thought I was going to, I'm going to put a little message in the bottle in there. So these are Tim's little skull heads. <laughs> I know. What, who would think you'd be putting this on in a baby's room, really? So yeah, that's definitely going to go there. So let me get, um, oh, let's see, I'm going to use my... Isn't that cute? <laughs> Treasure chest. <laughs> well, soon enough he will be a little boy. That's true. And he will appreciate. That's very true. All right. So I have a skeleton key. I'm looking for my jewels for the inside of our treasure chest. have one of these for the handle like let's stick something like that in there hi Kia hi Vicky <laughs> um, that that better not happen I'm gonna stick this here like you know the handle of the what do you call it oh my gosh if it's a girl I'll really be mad <laughs> I won't be mad, but you know, <laughs> that would be terrible if it's going to be a girl and it's supposed to be a boy. <laughs> All right. I don't know if I like this for the handle. We'll have to see. I'm looking for my jewels. Like, where are all my jewels to put inside? Here's one. Use like this button, maybe stick that in there. Like diamonds. <laughs> yeah, I have a lot of stuff. I know. If you had to see my floor, you'd be like, oh my gosh. When I was picking out all the metals and stuff um, for this, it's like, oh my gosh, it's ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, and I had all it done yesterday, and still today I was looking for, looking for other stuff for it. <laughs> it's too much, too much. All right, well, let's see. I have some pearls I want to put on here. Of course, I just can't find it now. I have some gold coins. I gotta look for that to go in there. I should have taken this all out before. We could stick one of those maybe in there. Fish and seahorse. Hold on, there's some more. Sorry. 
sorry I'm making too much noise. We might have to come back to the film. We'll see. Can't find what I want to put in here. So I think we're just going to put this and work on the seashells. And then I'll have to come back and look for stuff for there. Why am I daughter and a boy till... And it was a girl? Oh my gosh, you don't tell me that. All of this that I've done is for a boy. <laughs> oh. All right. So we have that jewels hanging out like that. Hopefully we'll come across the bag with the with the jewels. So what we'll do is we'll put the seashell and I want to add some texture paste on here. So let's do that. I love this thing. It's like I don't know what it is, but I think it would be cool. Cool on there. That was the longest phone call. <laughs> So let's rearrange our seashells anyway. I could do that part because I don't know where, I don't know what I do with all of my jewelry, jewels. Let's stick that in there. I could have a girl pirate. That's true. I could have girl pirate. I'll have this. And that hanging out like that. I don't want two jewelings together though. I'm going to stick this on this side with the pearls. So let's stick this in here. And I have some gold coins in here I want to get. So when I come to the gold coins, we'll stick those in there. Like that. There we go. <laughs> All right, let's rearrange our seashells and then our octopus is going up there. I have some cheesecloth. Where did I do with that? I want to stick that on here. So my desk is just not big enough. Here it is. So we're going to stick some cheesecloth in and behind here. So it'll be surrounded by our octopus. Seven weeks till due date. Oh my gosh. Well, my niece was supposed to go like the first week in July, but then she had problems um, with her pancreas and stuff. So uh, they're going to take the baby June 26, I believe. So we're going to stick that in there. I'm going to do it with my glue now. There it is. <laughs> You'll be excited. That's your first, right, Lisa? Is it your first? Her daughter and my daughter both have the same name. <laughs> Stick this in there like that. And then I'll stick some when we once we put the octopus, I will probably stick some up that way. Yeah, is she in Florida with you too? And I think we're going to put an anchor over here. So let's put our seashells down. Some of these shells I got over there at Sanibel Island. And some I got in when I went last time to Pensacola. I got them in there. So this is an actual sand dollar. Of this. So let's see how we're going to rearrange these. I have this big giant one. I think it's too big for here. I love this one. Look at the way that curls up like that. Picking on the worst of my condition still. It's hanging. Teachers don't really do much but sit the legs down. No. Oh, peachy. 
Yeah, that's not good with your legs down. I have that problem too sometimes with my arthritis. Then my ankles get all swollen. Let me just stick these all out. Let's see which one I want to use. Oh, I have this little one too. So I want to let's see how we want to arrange these. I'm going to stick that there. There. Some seashells. Why does that feel like I've got, ugh. Oh, she's back close to home. That's good. I like this big one. This big one is nice. And then we're going to fill in with the micro beads in here and some um, pearls and stuff. Look at the inside of that one. I don't know what that one is. Can you see the inside there? It's like triple. those white shells as much. Oh, look at that one. I like that one. I'm going to stick them on top. I'm going to stick that one. Need something else. Okay. Let's do this one. This one's pretty. You guys still with me? <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that tiny little one. You see that little one inside there? <laughs> Be right back, AJ. Okay. What else? Let's stick this one in here. I just kind of want to get them rearranged how I want, and then I'll glue them all down. I really like this one. I would like to use this one. I like this one too. Maybe that one there. Yeah, some of these are from Sanibel. Like these curly ones, these are from Sanibel. Yep, I was there well, long, not long ago, probably like five years ago. Um, that, and then I think these these were from Sanibel. All right, so how does that look? That looks pretty good, I would say. And then we're going to get some seaweed going up here. We have our octopus there. So I think that's enough shells. And then we're going to fill the rest in with some beads. My parents live in Cape Carl. Oh, so you visit. I, I love that. I would love, love to go back and get some more shells. I made, when I came back, I made some, um, oh, look at this brown one. Um, I made some cone trees and put all the shells on there. Oh, my gosh. I use that for Christmas. It looks so good. Yeah. It's just a pain that you have to go in and out with just that one little bridge. I like these little ones too. I'll stick one of these in there. Fill in. It's 
so hot. All right, so we're going to put that in there and then we're going to add some texture paste up here and then maybe do our mat. We'll see. Let's glue this down. Oh, I had two more down here. Then I'll have to find, I think I might have an anchor or something that we could put over on this side. Or we'll have to put, I don't know, a crab or something like that. Try to get these all in the same area. Oh, let's see, that's in there. I did one of these kind of like these um, for my living room I have um, I put the letters beach and then I put like seashells and mermaids on them came out pretty good I like to do the canvases All right. You love the seashells? Me too. I like the seashells. And wait till you see it takes the color really nice. So, and if we get too much color on it, then we can just um, paint them white and then redo them. Ah. North Carolina, that's where my husband wants to go. He wants to check that out. I still want to move to Florida. He wants to check North Carolina out, though. I think I have everything just about in there. Oh, my hands are all sticky now. <laughs> Can't get that one in there. <laughs> all right. And then I am going to sprinkle some of these beads in there. Some glue in here.
and I'll stick some up in here. And then we're going to put some micro beads in here as well, too, later. Fill in the spots. I live in New Jersey. Where does she live? Mooresville. I don't know where that is. Mooresville. I live by the shore. By the beach. All right. So I think that's good. So let's see how it goes. We're going to get some of the sand on here. All right, that's good. Oh, you know what? I could put over on this side. I think I have a starfish. Hold on. We're going to put a starfish there if I can find them. And then we'll add some of our texture paste. Hold on, i got to find my starfish. have some of this this reminds me of kind of like seaweed I want to stick this on the side here so let's see where we cut this I'm gonna add this on here like this I'll cut around that I live by Ranger yes hi oh look what look Yes, I live like 15, 15 minutes, 20 minutes from Ranger. Yep. Yeah. They use, always have the, not always, but I'm hoping they have their Ranger sale in September or October. All right. I have to clean my hands. Look, they're dirty. I don't like them. <laughs> I got to clean my hands. <laughs> yeah, she was from Long Island. Yeah, matter of fact, I think Dina, Dina was just here, Dina Weekly, and Tim and Mario, they were at Ranger. I wish I knew which Carvel they went to. They, they Did you see their pictures? They went to Carvel to give ice cream. <laughs> I live by the shore, by Belmar, where Hurricane um, Sandy hit, close to there. Well, actually, there. <laughs> Ugh, I should have put those hands on tonight. By the shore, yep. Near, if you guys ever heard of Belmar, or if you heard of Asbury Park. Yep, right by there. All right. So, we'll get rid of that. I'm going to put some of this on. I don't know how this will take the ink when we get ready to do it. Actually, I want to get rid of some of that first, of the white, so I'll wait to put that on. But I want to put my starfish on here. So we could either do the one, the little one, or the big one. Let's see. Should you do that one there, the big one? Like that. The big one or the little one? Maybe the little one? <laughs> Whose back is bothering them? Oh, Paula's not on tonight? Oh, no. Her back is still killing her. Oh, she's got that pinched nerve. I hope she'll be all right. Aww.
Yes, you should start doing the videos. I like the little one too. Me too. I'm going with the little one. Because then it doesn't overpower the chest either. So, it's what we'll do. I know. Poor Paula. I hope she's going to be all right for Maryland. All right, so let's get some texture paste on here, and then we can put a little bit more white gesso. So I want to get rid of some of that um, writing on there, and then we'll have to come back to the jewels. I have to find my jewels. I don't know what I did with those jewels tonight. All right, so I have, I love these little things from Prima, so I want to put one of these on there, I know. <laughs> yes, I just put it on there. It's so cute. That's Timmy's. Timmy's skull. All right. Because this looks almost reminds me of like a, a starfish, doesn't it? So I want to put one in there. Oops, you can't see. Let me move this. I might have to move you guys out. Let me move you out one now. Now that we're... There we go. War streams, yes. <laughs> a different watch, yes. I can't find my Paris one, so I had to switch to this. This is old. It's you know when the swatches came out. That's what that is. So I want to put one there, and I want to put one up towards the top. When we get up towards there, because it just looks like starfish to me. Mm -hmm. And then what we're going to do is I want to put some texture paste. So let me get that out. My texture paste. Or is it? Right here. Need a knife. And I think I want to use the same one like we used for the mini album. So I think I'm going to use that one just so that it'd be, you know, the same kind of. Yes, the swatch. That's what it is. <laughs> so I think I'm going to use this one. This is the one that we used in front of um, this one in the mini album. So that's that one. It kind of looks like waves. It could be like waves. So we're going to use that one. <laughs> Thank you for this one. Look at, okay. I have to look forward to the recording. Okay, Jay. <laughs> All right. So we're going to use this one. So I'm going to put a couple of them here and then some over there. And then I want to put some more white gesso on here because I want to get rid of some of that writing. Auto correct. <laughs> we could put bubbles too. We could put on this side, we could put the waves, and then maybe we'll put the bubbles up here where the octopus is going to be. So let me see what where the bubbles are. I think that was one of the earlier ones, wasn't it? Maybe he does have a bubbles one, doesn't he? Hold on. Yeah, maybe he doesn't have one. He doesn't have bubbles? He has to have bubbles. Hold on a second. That's the only bubbles there is? There's got to be better bubbles than that. If he doesn't, I'll have to get my other one out. No, no bubbles. You love the idea? It's going to be cool. Oh, thanks. I don't have the lace one. Oh my gosh, I love this one. That's this one, the lace. Ooh, yeah, that's pretty. 
All right, so let's get some, we're going to get some waves on this side, and then I'll have to see where I could get my, uh, I think I have a Prima bubble one that we can use. Yeah, little bubbles would be cute. All right, so let's put some waves over here. I'm getting down low, too, on this. I'll have to bring out my other bottle. And our photo mat's going to be up right in here, so we really don't have to worry too much about getting something there. Oh my gosh, it's already 9.30. What we'll have to do is we'll have to get this on, and then next week we'll... Um, We'll put the um, metals in there, and then um, we'll spray next week. This is one of my favorite stencils. I love this one. Ooh, pretty. I'll have to hold it up there. I'm going to get wave there, and then I'm going to put one on this side. Hi, Colleen! <laughs> Where is she? I missed her. I know my picture is going to be here, so I want to take some of this off, just so otherwise it'll lay smooth. And then maybe I'll just put just a little bit right on here. Our octopus is going to be here mostly anyway. So, take some of that off. There we go. I'll just move this now so I can clean this one off. Hey, Teresa, where's Teresa? I didn't see her. Hold on, I gotta move this. Where am I gonna move this to? Well, that's the thing. <laughs> I gotta clean this off. Hold on. Here, I can bring it up closer now, too. Do you see the texture paste on there? Isn't it pretty? I love the flourishes on there. Thank you, Robbie. <laughs> All right. Just stick that there for a second. I just want to clean this off. Especially because of this the tininess of the um, swirls and stuff, you don't want that to get stuck in there. Teresa, now I see you. <laughs> Good, how are you? All right, I need to wipe. <laughs> Has the project come along? Good, I showed the um finished mini before. It's all done. I even got the shells on the mermaid. <laughs> she looks good. And then we're just working on the canvas now. We did the octopus earlier out of, see, starting to dry. We did our octopus out of the paper clay. And then we're just working on the canvas now with the treasure, treasure map. Hey, Patty! <laughs> if any ladies coming here, please check your email. I sent out a note a couple days ago. Okay.
see how it's still stuck? I'll have to go in there and wash it. So you see how it's there? If you don't get that all out, you know, it'll be stuck there. What's nice about the texture paste, it does wash off. So I will take that and um, scrub that off later. All right. Let's put that on there. All right. So we have that down. So I'm trying to think what I want to do next. Should we put the metals on there? Let me dry this, and then we'll put the metals. We still have 15 minutes. We can start putting the metals down anyway. All right. Was he done? Hold your ears. So I know I want to put my mat up in here. And it's going to be like a, like a four by six. Let me see if I could cut a piece. I think I have a piece here I could cut. I'll just put this there for now. So basically we want to put our picture up here. Let me bring this down now so you guys can see. It's coming out good, isn't it? I love the, the treasure. It looks good. We get some more jewels in there to look even better. All right, so we want our mat, and I'm thinking I'm going to put my mat so that it sticks out even just a little bit. So now we want to lay down our jewels. So let's see what do I have. I know I want this down here like this. And I think I have to get out my E6000 for this. I kind of tried to play around with the placement earlier today. So, I have an idea of what I want to put on here. I think I want the key. Let's put the key this way. And I got to remember that our octopus is going to be um, right about here. So, I have the key like that. I also have this I want to stick in there. Now see, we do have a girl's, uh, <laughs> I have a girl's pirate. Now you guys got me thinking, if it's a girl, it's going to be bad news. <laughs> so I want to stick that there like that. Did I ever find the treasure chest for the album? Yes, I did, Teresa. It's right here. I finished it. Yep. There it is, right there. <laughs> oh, I did, and I did the seashells for the mermaid. Where is she? I got the little seashells for her. Does she come out cute? <laughs> yep. And you missed it, Teresa. I showed them um, the little ducks. I don't know if I have the little what I do with the little ducks. Uh, and the pacifier. Oh, yeah, here. <laughs> I got him. I got him a little mustache pacifier. Won't that look cute for the pictures? <laughs> and then I found these ducks. I should just take these out and I can rewrap them. Um, there's the pirate. See the little pirate? He's got the little <laughs> thing on there. And then this one's got the kerchief with a little patch over his eye. And then this one's like the captain. He's got the little parachute, periscope. And then this one's got the treasure map. <laughs> Isn't it cute? And then I was in Target and I found him a little outfit, a black outfit with, um, let's see. I'm going to stick this in there. 
Oh, we got to stick our bottle in there, too. I forgot all about our bottle. We'll stick that in there. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Rob. Is that you, Robbie? Cole, Robbie? Is that your name? <laughs> thank you, Jean. Oh, my gosh. So we have a flower. I have to take out some of my, I have some of Binabar's um, things I want, too. Grab that. I love these cups of hers, the mechanicals. Oh. I'll have to stop at 10 because Happy Diane will be on right after me. And so what we'll do is um, I'll rearrange. What I'll do is I'll rearrange all the metals. And then next week what we'll do is we'll white gesso everything. And then hopefully add our octopus. And then spray next week. So. I can stick this in there. And then put some beads in there. Diana, she comes on after me. She does. Um, she does really nice cards. Last week, last week was her birthday, so she wasn't on last week. But she does really nice cards. Look at this. This reminds me of like the Spanish um, emblem. Yep, she's on after me, and you just have to hit UStream. You have your um. Oh, if you have your UStream thing, put it up there, Diane. She is a card making champ. Yep. <laughs> So we have that. I have the world because, of course, it's Pat seeing the world. Oh, here's my little gold coin. I'm going to put that. It's a little bit too big. I'm going to use that at the top. And I have a shark's tooth. So we'll put that up there. Oh, here's my crown. I think this crown, though, is too big. So we're going to definitely use the crown up in there. She is happy Diane. Yeah. Happy Diane. Oh, I love this one. This reminds me of like Spain. It's a lion and he's holding a sword. So I've got to stick him in there somewhere. And these little jewels. Let's see what else I have in here. I have this big clock with the gears. Let's see how I want to do this. Maybe I'll do that there. The little one here, the world up there. What else? Oh, I have an all seeing eye. The all seeing eye. <laughs> Could stick him in there. Oh, I have this. I want to put this in there so that she could put a title. So I'll just glue it on that end, and then she could put, like, the date or the title on there. Fans, I'm looking for a fun stamper. <laughs> so what else do we have? What other metals do we have here? I have one of these. Well, here's my little sword. We'll have to stick this in here somewhere. Maybe in there. We have a little key. Of course, we have the doorway. Little key. What size is this canvas? It's like 8 by 20, I think. Something like that. Let me see. Where is my, where is my ruler handy? Yeah. It is, I'll tell you exactly. Nope, I was wrong. It is nine, almost ten. Ten by twelve. Yeah, ten by twenty. Ten by twenty. Yep. I have some of this. Hang that in there. So now I'm just going to throw it all with metals up in here. 
and then I'll glue it down and then next week what we'll do is we'll white gesso everything um, and um, white gesso some of this and then we'll spray the scary part spray we'll add our octopus at the bottom so I'm just going to continue with the metals, adding them, seeing what I like. I know I have more of her metals somewhere. i got to look for them. Um, so I'm going to just keep going until I fill this area. So like from up here, down like that. And then we'll stick some beads and stuff like that. <laughs> so I definitely want to stick this in here too somewhere. This little dagger. I have a bigger sword, but I can't find it. I also have the mustache. Where is that? Got to put a little mustache in here. <laughs> so you guys have any questions? <sighs> so yeah, Happy Diane is on. So I definitely want to get the mustache in here somewhere. And I'm going to rearrange all my metals. Um, so tonight we did the treasure chest and we added all the shells. You can see there. We added all that. I'm going to add some more jewels too to um to the underneath the treasure chest. And then next week we will um color the octopus. So he's going to go right on top of there on top of our treasure chest. Let's see if I can stick him in if he's kind of dry. I think I moved him a little too much. I don't know if I can move him on here or not. Let's see what he looks like. There he is. So we're going to stick him up in here. Like that. So he's guarding our treasure chest there. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh. And then with all the, the metals up there. And then I'm going to put the little this little white piece here. And add just a few little things on this one little side. And then I need just some seaweed. I think we'll just need up the end here. So, so that will be next week. Next week we'll paint the um, octopus. And then we will gesso. I'll have this all glued down. And we'll white gesso everything. And then we'll spray with some Lindy's. I also have some Viva that I want to use. So, it'll, it will dry. No, it won't break. It won't crack or anything. Nope. It'll be nice and sturdy. It'll, yep, it'll be nice. It takes about mm, overnight, maybe. And even in overnight, what the nice thing about the paper clay is, if you felt like you still wanted to do something, you still could do something like in the morning and manipulate it just a little bit. But, um, Pretty much once it dries and it's just as hard. It's, you know, it's really nice. Then I could sand this and make it really smooth if I want. So, yeah, I like the way he came out. So I think he looks perfect on top of our chest. So, everyone is sure to call in reservations for Art Weekend. Yes, if you're going to Maryland, make sure you call, uh, make sure your rooms, um, call for your room. Make sure you're in the special art group thing. And then, hi, Annette. I see Annette in there. <laughs> so, any other questions? So, we're going to go over to see Happy Diane. Thank you very much for joining me tonight, guys. Um, and we will finish this um, next week. So, I want to put it in the mail to her like that next weekend so she'll have it. So, thanks for joining me. Don't forget to join me on Sunday. I will be doing some more art envelopes if you guys are interested in that. And uh, what else? That's about it, I think. Hi, Annette. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so glad you're going to Maryland. I didn't know you were going to Maryland. So that'll be a nice surprise. I got to see you. <laughs> All right, thanks, guys. All right, so I'll see you over at Happy Diane's. Have a good weekend. I'll talk to you later. Bye.